Hello and welcome back to my channel HG. Today we have a 2v2 Napoleon Total War and as I promised I have the uh, NTW3 sound mod so the muskets sound amazing. Amazing. I love it. Um, as you can see we're uh, going well I play as the English today and my buddy is playing as Austria and we're going up against Prussia, the mighty Prussian Empire. So you can see Prussia is bringing some musketeers, uh, some six pound horse artillery, quite a few of cav, and three units of lights, which I find strange. You know, could have brought another one. Uh, and we have the similar makeup to the other Prussian team, but they're bringing four lights and four cav units and an, another horse artillery six pounder and as for my Austrian teammates bringing two cav uh, six foot, four, foot artillery and some Hungarian fusiliers a lot of Hungarian fusiliers and as for myself I am bringing some foot some uh, light foot couple of King German light foot and Coldstream guards with Highland foot as well uh, yeah and I'm also bringing a couple of light dragoons all right so uh, this one's gonna start off rather quick so I'm gonna get started and uh, yeah um, probably gonna bring a couple of more of Napoleon Total War videos maybe one more uh, Rome Total War and uh, yeah if you like what I'm putting out and if you like the audio thankfully this new microphone is uh, better than my previous one let me know um, yeah like and subscribe and uh, appreciate you uh, stopping by all right let's see what's going on here so this is gonna be a fight for the hill as you can tell uh, pressure is already pushing up its oh yep it's already pushing up its uh, its Lancers and Austria doesn't want to commit just yet at this point, I think uh, he was asking me to send over some of my cab, as you can see. So he's setting up his infantry here. This is going <laughs> to be kind of intense, as you can tell. Oh, who's committing there? I'd be kind of scared right now. Ah, uh, yes. The sounds of muskets. I actually recently uploaded a video where um, it's just purely the sounds of this kind of like Napoleonic warfare. And uh, yeah, it's it's been getting a lot of views, and I think people like it because it's just, it just sounds glorious, you know. Uh, check it out if you can. All right. Oh no! No, why? Oh, he got too excited there for a second. As you can see, we have like a massive line battle. Don't worry, we're not missing anything on the other side, but things are picking up rather quick here. Oh, what a mess. What a total mess. Look at this. Uh, four horses. Oh, are these guys firing? Oh no, you need to turn off the auto, auto fire. Because then you're killing your own men here. This is so chaotic. So... Okay, as you can see, while well, that's happening, I'm moving over my army because they have a... I don't know, I felt like this was so chaotic for my teammate here that um, I needed to support them. 
So I started moving some of my troops and it was lining up across this uh, this line here. Yeah, as you can see, things are just chaos, pure pandemonium. Oh no! Get the lights out of there. No. Oh. Sometimes what's annoying is that you'll try to click for uh, you know the lights to run out, but they don't end up running. They just walk. You have to double click, and sometimes it doesn't register the second click. Okay, Prussia is now trying to maneuver on the flanks of Austria. Oh, these musketeers are getting lit up. Oh no, these Hungarian fusiliers. Uh, they're only down to 53 men. 52. Lots, lots of carnage here. I think, honestly, it would be better to reform your lines. Put your lines here, and then put your lights in front, because that way, if they try to charge with their cavalry, you can set your lines into square formation quickly. Oh, that's right. Okay, so... I don't want to miss this, so I sent up my uh, light dragoons here. Try to wreak some havoc there, but okay, good. I didn't lose them, thankfully. And I got my uh, cannons into position. Now I'm starting to push up my um, elite infantry. Unfortunately, ooh, yeah, you gotta be careful with those can that canister. Oh, oh, that's brutal. Oh my god, is he going to go first? I totally missed this. This is, this is epic right here. Oh, I would be so annoyed if I was the question player. I've had this happen to me like quite a few times, but it's worth it. It's worth kind of sending your men in there like that, even though they're probably going to break against this uh, cab here, but I'll leave their cannons pretty much unusable all right so I'm pushing up my my Highland foot I got my lights engaged against the Prussian lights oh no wait they did bring a uh, some Jaegers but I didn't see that Oh, thankfully there's this like little hill right here because their, their shots are hitting the hill. But my men are like not really in the best position here. I think they're hitting the, the hill here. So you have to watch out for that, especially on this map, the pyramids. Uh, I did mess up right here though. I put, pushed up my cold stream guards to try to push this flank. Uh, but as you'll see soon, it doesn't end up... Oh no! His lights are out of position. Uh, he's got these squares, but these lights need to be in squares too, it's not good. I mean, he's got some Hungarian facilities in the thick of it. Oh, that's loud. Yeah, that's loud. <laughs> Hold on here. I'm gonna pause it. Alrighty, we're back. Sorry if that was kind of loud. Um, I'll be sure to edit that. Alright, as you can see in my... Austrian uh, teammate here is having a tough time holding this area. Yeah, see, uh, as I was saying, my uh, my Coldstream Guard are kind of like out of position here, and they're getting chewed up big time. For some reason, this side of my units are not firing, and Austria is just having a tough, tough time. Right uh, this all this cab is just non-stop but I did send over my cab to hopefully you know push off um, this enemy charge here I'm just pushing up some lights here yeah you see my cold stream guards broke uh, when that happened I was pretty upset uh, we're, so we're holding this line here I'm just trying to keep them at bay from not coming over here and you know wreaking havoc to my uh, teammate. Uh, so I also decided to uh, kind of charge in my men. 
I figured because they had no cav support that they would have a better chance fighting fighting them off. But one thing I didn't realize is that these were foot guards. Uh, yeah, and going up against just regular foot, their you know their morale is not going to stay the same. But I do have some regular musketeers here that uh, my foot would be able to take care of. And as you can see, the numbers are dwindling for my Austrian um, teammate. So if we could break this center, then we can start to push um, and start splitting these armies up. If we could do that, we could do like a divide, divide and conquer kind of thing. We finish up this army, and then we push to finish this army. They'd be forced to turn their flank. Uh, but unfortunately, as you can see, I've been forced to turn my flank. And I'm doing my best just to, to support my, my troops here. Uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm trying to bring out the morale, and they're, they're fighting. They're fighting the good fight. Uh, as you can see, there's 85 to 113. Yeah, oh, this sneaky guy here trying to send his cab in. But my foot is not doing too bad, thankfully, currently. All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see so we can see down the line. Uh, we're, we're having some morale issues on my lines over here. But we're holding the center. We're holding the center. That's good. Oh, no. Oh, I guess I got some lights that ran. My Highland foot, though, they're, they're, you know, they're hanging on. They're hanging on. I got one unit of Highland Fit that are struggling. Uh, unfortunately, Prussia again with the Cav. It's just constant waves of Cav. Oh no. Yeah, these these Foot are gonna break. They're not gonna be able to hold on much longer. Yeah, see? There they go, breaking. Austria has completely retreated off this hill. Prussia has taken the hill. Um. We're kind of, we're in no position to overpower uh, the Prussian armies here, so we have to pull back. And unfortunately, this sneaky, sneaky Prussian cav is on its way to take care of my cannons. This was rather upsetting. I sent in my general to try to, but unfortunately I wasn't fast enough and yeah. That's it for my cannons, fortunately. However, I was able to save one one unit here. Uh, thing, things should be better. Things shall be better. But maybe not. <laughs> As you can see, they're they're pushing hard here. Uh, my Austrian ally is, is retreating to some better terrain. Oh yes, we missed this ec epic push here. I figured since their lights were unprotected by cavalry, which at the time I, I pushed that they were unprotected by cavalry, and the Austrian general had rushed in towards these lights, I figured I'd try to help him and break these lights, because you know that would be a tremendous help. As you can see, we're already starting to break couple of light units but these damn lancers are gonna give us hell um, Austria has won the day here I'm out of position I'm like okay I need to start moving my troops back yeah my lights had broken already I got some lights over here that came back to the battlefield and my general is also broken but he'll be coming back all right, so I have I have my men retreating. I got a full 152. That's the healthiest unit I have of some Highland Foot. Next, uh, some, and a few units of Foot. I got these. This unit of Foot still fighting. Yeah, and I got them in square formation to start harassing these uh, this Lancers. I don't, I don't think it helped though. I don't remember if this unit breaks or not. Uh, 
as you can see, we're just... Yeah, I got some... Yeah, they broke. Uh, however, I'm trying to reset up here. And again, more cav coming in, just constantly. Uh, but, uh, yep, I was able to get them into square formation. Not today, son. Not today. Alright, so this is kind of a mess. This is a rather hasty retreat. However, I am able to uh, get my men into position here pretty soon, as you'll see. Now, I got some lights and um, my general uh, coming back to the battlefield. Uh, I think at this point, the Austrian player got disconnected or something. So this is kind of like my last stand on my own here, but I think the Austrian AI does a pretty good thing to help me last a little bit longer. Um, except this. This is this is this is not a good thing here. <laughs> Don't want to be standing in front of my men while they're shooting. So you're gonna get killed. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> All right, now I'm reforming my lines to kind of give me to use the terrain to my advantage. This is kind of a lull in the action, but things will increase. Oh, it's like they want to die. Yeah, so as you can see, we got some. More Prussian Lancers in the in our rear, harassing us. But good thing is, is that the Austrian AI is taking care of them for for us, giving us some time to reform our lines here. It would kind of suck to be these guys, knowing that this is like this last thing that you'll end up seeing, because like. I'm pretty sure at this point your supply lines are cut off. Your general's dead. Wait, hold on. Is the general dead? Yeah, the general's dead. You're about to be surrounded. And all you have is a handful of brothers watching your side. Yep, now it's just yours truly holding the line. And I don't think this ends up being like a super epic last stand. Yeah, we just end up breaking. Don't even like hold it. And we had <laughs> we have a clear line, so like, uh huh. Let's get out of here. All right. Well, uh, yeah, this was a short video. Thank you for uh, uh, sticking in there. If you did, uh, I appreciate the help. Um, as always, please like and subscribe if you like my stuff. Thank you to all my subscribers uh, for sticking around and, you know, enjoying my videos. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, until, until next time.